Peter Madial, the fight zone will be hosting a very special night of boxing with a world title at stake. The second world title, in fact, that Fight Zone will have presented in its very short history. It's only May, of course, of this year that Fight Zone started, and already every single belt has been boxed for. With that world title, that had a ranking box for on November the 5th, and then, of course, this big one you can see behind us. A huge night right here in the Premier Suite where Jack Massey and Bilal Rahim go head to head for the IDO Cruiserweight Championship of the World. It's going to be a stack card as well, as you would expect, and you can see that along the table here we have our esteemed guests from Belgium, Michel Garcia, who will do battle with Mark Jeffers, alongside Mark there, his manager Kevin Marie. Mr. Kevin, very smart rapper, of course. Sorry, further in from next to Mark is Jack Massey, Dennis Hobson, Steve Crump, the pair from Fight Academy, very much the Fight Zone family as well. And alongside me, Bilal, Alan, who looks after the Belgian team as well, and then Michelle at the end. So, we'll get on with it because I know that there's a man that's got plenty of detail to tell you all about the card and what we've been doing on Fight Zone. So, without further ado, he's made his way over today. Dennis Hobson. So Dennis, if you'd like to just give us a little bit of insight about Fight Zone and the car that we can look forward to in this big night of boxing. Well, if you don't already know, it's four ninety nine a month. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody for, eff for the efforts here today. Jason's had to have the change of clothes two or three times. Put that much graft in here. Grafted as much since you were prefect at uh, that four school where he used to go to. Um, and I see Valet, who's a long-standing friend of mine and ours and obviously a long-standing friend of Fight Zone and Fight Academy who's helped uh, facilitate all this uh, as you see today. Um, I need to be back in big time boxing uh, with me and my partner here Steve Crump he's getting a taste of the big the big league. Um, this has probably happened uh, a little bit sooner than um, we, we, we forecast but you know in, in um, the boxing world, you have to take opportunities. Um, we had the opportunity to talk about this Daniel Craig lookalike at the side of me. Um, an opportunity to, to get him on, on the world scene. Uh, a great friend on the end there, Kev Marie, we had discussions about getting involved with him and some of his quality fighters. Uh, these two obviously quality fighters were sat next to me today, but. Um, Jack was in a position where he was getting frustrated with the game. Um, we stayed in touch uh, with Kevin and the opportunity arose for us to get involved with uh, the great Jack Massey who obviously we, we monitored his career but never thought we could be uh, as soon as what we are working with him. But like I say, everything's about timing in the boxing world and uh, within a couple of weeks of him signing for us, fighting for an idea. European title, which he took with both hands. And um, the reason we're here today, obviously, is because opportunities came along, and they don't just come along. He's obviously 30 years of experience and creating relationships with the uh, with the promoters around the world. And uh, we, we saw an opportunity for our Jack Massey to get involved and fight for a world title. And thankfully, today we, we're releasing it to you all. That, and Jack Massey will be fighting for the IBO Cruiserweight title. So within five months, um, we, 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 uh, we've secured a couple of world titles and uh, Jack's here to talk about it as well. Um, so it's, it's, it's a big day for us and obviously without going into the history of where, where I've come from, I've been in the game 30 years and I'm as excited uh, today as what I was when I was sat next to Clint Woods and Ricky Hatton when I promoted him in in America and Clinton with our first ever uh, world title in Sheffield. So to be involved with good people and, and I must say that this is the best team I've ever worked with um, and having our own, our own platform and giving all these kids an opportunity. You know, you've got Charlie Schofield out there who's Olympic champion. We've got a, a conveyor belt of kids uh, coming through and Jack's one of our flagships. And uh, we're proud to have him on board and um, what I'd like to do now is put a bit of pressure on Steve and just let him say a few things because I'll ramble on it all day and I know he won't go get home at some stage. So pass it on to Steve, just say a few words. Uh, morning everybody. Uh, like Denny says, thanks for turning up and uh, thanks for the press and all the fighters that are here that have uh, experience and uh, 
experience at the first uh, press conference. Uh, fight zone has only been running for five months, like Dennis said. So we are trying to get the grassroots of boxing a platform to show their things on. Uh, you don't get that on your your skies or your zones or what have you. So there's a hub for fighters here that uh, starting out in the career and we are proud to offer that service to the fighters that are, are willing to jump on board. As, as Dennis has said, we've just started and we are now looking at this is going to be our second world title fight, which is in five months to be very exciting and I'm very proud to be part of it. So that's about me done because I've gone back home. Not like some people, but let me say it. So yeah, uh, I'll pass it back to Don. But once again, thank you for all making the effort of coming out to do Cheers, Steve. Thank you, Dennis. I was just going to crack on. You will get your chance, obviously, after the four matches to have one on one with the top ten going here. But just to, to start things off, let's just go to Alan first because you, you brought both fighters over, of course, and it's a great opportunity. Just give us, from your point of view, how this opportunity came about and why you're so keen for both your fighters to fight on this platform, platform and, of course, with Bilal. Hello everybody, so uh, I'm Adam Anaker, I'm a promoter in Belgium, I have a very nice team, a very nice kit. And, uh, we accept the challenge to come in the UK to fight because at the time, you know, with the, the COVID, uh, we had really a bad time with boxing and it's time for uh, the boxing world to take a real, real uh, challenge. And we received the challenge to, to come uh, for Bilal to fight against Jack, it was just a, a good timing, like, like uh, because uh, last year we received a proposal to fight for the European Championship with Bilal. Uh, we received the, the, the proposal only four weeks before the championships. We accepted because we cannot refuse the European Championship in a matchroom uh, organization. So we, we, we did not accept the, the challenge, but we, we didn't have enough time to prepare correctly the fight. So the result was a draw from one of the judges and to give one point for Mac McCarthy. So it was a slim decision and uh, we accept the result because it was a really good match. Here, when uh, Jason called me to propose the, the IBO World title, uh, it's a, a title I know very well because I received uh, already uh, many proposals for Real Mary. Normally, we should fight uh, uh, the Titan in July. And I know that uh, uh, the South African cannot fight, so the title is, is vacant. And that was a good opportunity because one week before I received the proposal, uh, Bilal called me to say, okay, uh, I stopped during six months and I'm ready to, to, to challenge and to train myself again. So that was just a good opportunity and a good timing because he wants to make a comeback, a real comeback. He's a high level uh, sportsman, he's a, a real good fighter. And so that was the, 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 the challenge we, we need for him to come back on the top. Uh, like you know, certainly he won already the IBF Intercontinental title. I trained in the U.S. during many years, and he's certainly one of the best Belgian fighters ever. So for him, he will come really to challenge and to win the title. And obviously, the other end of the table, um, we'll get to Jack and we'll get to the main event. That's very, very soon. But uh, of course, Kevin Marie, you involved with a huge stable now. And again, you've heard what Alan has to say. And again, you're going to have many fighters on this bill. How would you respond? Nice to meet you all, thanks for coming over. I uh, look forward to a great challenge. Um, obviously, not Bilal really well, we've been watching him for a long time. We've known about this fight for uh, a little while now, so I think we've seen every single one of his videos, and it's going to be a great fight. So, uh, thanks for uh, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, we're really excited to wait for this one time for Jack. We know he's going to perform. Um, and obviously, having Mark Jeffries on the undercard as well, one of our other future superstars coming through is, is, is a huge bonus. As well, the, uh, the six of the young lads on the undercard are really excited to showcase okay, so on a, on a bill as prestigious as it. Uh, we're going to start with obviously the, with Michelle as well. Michelle, you're over to promote the fight. You're getting with Mark Jeffers, who, as Kevin says, as we know, is a real talent. You've got a very good record, 25 and 2. How excited are you to fight here against Mark Jeffers on this big bill? <laughs> Sorry. 
So for him, it's really a, a, a big opportunity. And uh, he will come by and come in the church. So I will explain something about Michel. Uh, he's really a big talent. With, uh, uh, they had so, some time in, in life, some bad, bad, uh, bad time, you know. Uh, he was working uh, for Casa Pilar, you know, it's an American uh, company based in Chandler. So, in the same year, uh, he lost uh, his job because Caterpillar stopped his version. He had to uh, to, uh, to find solution for, for his life. So he was working and trying to create something. He opened his own restaurant and he had a little bit to put his career on the front He had to, to work, to, to survive, that's it. And he decided also three months ago to, to close his restaurant because it's taking too much time and he cannot make reservation and, and box himself. He is involved totally you now with boxing, and for him, it's really a big opportunity to, to prove to the boxing world that he's a big talent. Thank you, Alan. Well, Mark, of course, we know about you. 13 fights in now, all gone your way. Again, we're talking obviously, Michelle has, has had to, to graft to get where he is. It's something that you've done as well. A bit of a sportsman, all round sportsman as well. And if that, you don't know this, by the way, this nutter did the marathon yesterday in 3 hours and 23 minutes. Congrats on that, well done. Shows you that he is the multi, multi sportsman that, that I mentioned. But again, Michelle's coming here to fight. You you would have done your homework. Uh, and again, it's a real step up for you on a big night. Yeah, this is a massive step up for me. Um, I've not watched much of him yet, I'm sure I will at least. I can barely be out more for him. But um, yeah, I think these are the fights that are coming like a step up for him. It's not a step up for him. He can get a bit of a kick out of this. So, um, yeah, I'll be more than ready. It's only rare though, a fighter like you, you've got an opportunity to put a load of weight on now after losing all that weight yesterday. Yeah, I think I'm in my middle weight at the minute, but uh, we'll put it back on. Look forward to a great night of action, of course, real talent, Mark Chapman. Now to the main event. Now, Phil Al, as Alan was talking about, that European Championship fight that you had the opportunity, you boxed Tommy McCarthy, a close fight. As Alan was mentioning, you didn't have a great deal of time to prepare. So, are we going to see an improved Bilal Lagoon, who is going to shock us, disappoint us, and, and take that crown, the IBA, IBO Cruiserweight title? Um, first of all, thank you guys for giving me over giving the opportunity. Um, the fight with McCarthy, I wish, I was so wishing they give me the reason because it's burning me every day. They gave me a fight, I think, four weeks, four weeks and a half by the time. I got a little bit in shape. I, I was there for the fight, so I was really, I, maybe not even 50%. But I love the fight, I accept it. It hurts, but it is how it is. And as far as now, the fight with, with, uh, with Zach, I, I think it's going to be a good fight. I think we have a chance to show and we have the opportunity to fight for the World Championship. So you get the chance to fight for the world championship, you're not a bad fighter. So, in my eyes, it's the, the difference is, one, is only going to be the small things. So, I'm going to be ready. I'm going to give my all and we're going to see what happens, but I'm going for the window. How big would this be for Belgian boxing should you claim that title? I don't know how big it's going to be for Belgian boxing, but it's going to be very big for me. That's why I'm doing it. It's really for me and my family and uh, what I want for it. Now that you've heard how confident he is, you know about the Tommy McCarthy fight. Again, he's a, a bit more experienced in a professional ring than you as well. You've got a right to reply. So how do you respond to that in terms of how you see everything going on in November the 26th? Yeah, so first of all, <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, so I'd just like to find a uh, family fight to the team, to put this off, um, Dennis and the guys, it's absolutely amazing to be doing this opportunity, but we've got a world title fight on our hands guys, so, you know, I'm, I'm up for this, I'm, you know, training harder and ever, this is, um, this is going time now, this is what <clears throat> I've dreamed of since, since starting out in boxing, so I'm not letting this one slip through my fingers, so it's, I'm taking this with both hands, I'm going to win this world title. 
we saw you win the European title on FISO, and again, this is another step up. This is this is another I suppose, part of what you see to be your path. Where do you want it all to end? Again, it's a great platform for you to win this belt in your head. That's what you're going to do. That's what you think you're going to do. But where does it take you? It takes us. It takes us on to massive things. It only takes you know one of the big boys to unify uh, and want this this RBO world title. Um, but obviously, get through this fight first. Take one step at a uh, fight, a step at a time. Um, but it's just amazing what you guys have done. First fight of fight zone, they got me the IBF European title. Second fight of fight zone, they got me a world title. You know, it's, it, it says something, but I'm just great, really grateful. Well, fight zone, we have been treated to, as I say, world title fights, but European, Commonwealth, British, English, area belts that will be Fox 4 and 4 4 on fight zone in such a short space of time. But of course, a word about the IBO, the world title. Some of the characters that have held this belt you be aware when you look through history it is incredible. James Tony, Thomas Hearns, Carl Thompson was in this very town, of course, what a champion he was. Antonio Tarver, just in the cruiserweight division this time. Antonio Tarver uh, and Andrew, Andrew Lewis, 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 Lewis. So these are the names that you want to both of you want to be among you. And again that's credence to this belt. We'll fight for and bomb. It'll be a great night, great night of boxing I think I'll come to fight so it's got to make into the Great fight, and that's what I want to be in. I want to be in good fights, not just get, get in there, not someone over. I want to be in good fights, what go down possibly in the history book. So uh, it's going to be a good night. Thank you, fellas. Well, before you get the opportunity for one on ones, we will have a head to head here at the top table. Um, there's an opportunity for questions from the floor if anyone would like to ask any questions. Absolutely, yeah, it, couldn't, it couldn't have come at a better time. It's it's come at a perfect time. You know, the time is great for this world title fight. You know, just come back off of you know, the IBF title fight, been there, and straight onto a world title fight. It's you know, the time is great. This way, I, I, off a level pegging, I'd back us against anybody. Um, it's just that they've got more resource, they've got a sky, a sky machine behind them, they've got a BT machine, machine behind them. But when I got together with Steve and the other partners, we uh, we decided to, to create something from nothing. And uh, and without going into the politics of television, uh, we, we, we just wanted to be in charge of our own destiny. So we think we've got a product here that's a bit special. Like I said to you earlier, that this is as exciting as I've been. You know, I put been involved with Major Shirley Seep and it was at the side of you, and you know, with Mia Khan and obviously Clint Woods, Ricky Atten, Jimmy McDonald, Carl Thompson, um, Stuart Hall, and and, and I think with, with the last two of the lads here, with Mark and, and Jack, I think we've got two um, major world will title holders in, in, in the future. So. I'm very excited about what we're doing, and, and yeah, going back to what you said, why did Sky look at somebody who's, who's got a track record like us? Well, do I want to work with Sky? You have to ask me that one. But, obviously, with the resource, if you look at what we've done from scratch, like Dom's just said, we've got every title on the, on, in, in, uh, on the platform within five months. It's, it's, it's not a bad thing from from from, uh, from zero. So um, we're, we're, we're very, very happy with where we've come as regards what we're providing, the opportunities that we're providing for the kids. From the debuts, they're not just, they're not just gonna get to 10 and 15 and zero before they get a, a chance to go on a TV platform. Um, and it just so happens, boxing's about time, it's like everything in life, but boxing epitomizes the uh, timing. And, and the timing was right, and we obviously we, we forced the issue for Jack. Um, I'm looking for the same for Mark. Um, and I've got I, I've got a connection with these two guys, and, and I get a feeling that 
Uh, we're back to Tyson on Saturday. Sometimes it's not knowing how to buy, uh, it's, it's knowing how to win. And I get that out of these two. And whether we'll win pretty or whether we'll win not as pretty, I believe these two have got the makings of being world champions. And that's the reason why I wanted myself and Steve and the partners and working with Kevin, we're going to share some memories, whether it's on Fire Zone, whether BBC come in for us or ITV. Fire Zone's here to stay because we think there's a, a, a hole in the market. Develop kids. You've got Jake up there uh, who, who keeps making his, his ideas, his trends, and stuff like that, where you know his attire uh, how, how to do his ring walks. But we've got some characters as well as sort of some great stories as well as kids who can fight as well. So it's exciting time for us. There's a hole in the market. We hit the ground running. We hit the ground where we were in the middle of a pandemic, and we you know we showed a bit of bottle. Uh, uh, putting eight fights on in seven weeks in Sheffield in a, in a car park and that's where obviously Jack got his opportunity to fight for the uh, European title but if we hadn't done that we wouldn't be sat here now with a, with a world title in November so you know we, we have got a bit of front and uh, we put it as money where his mouth is and, and if, if we don't get to do a, like a co-promotion and even in the past HBO's work with Showtime to put some big events on well, we're here, our doors are open, always open, we'll negotiate, as long as there's a dual benefit, which benefits the kids, but we want to get on to the highest stage, we'll sit down and talk to anybody. That were a ramble. <laughs> Any other questions? <clears throat> so, um, great to see Dennis and Steve promoting this very first World Pass in the world. It's our first one in an opera. We've got a fantastic undercard with some local kids. So my question to both the boxers is, Michael Jennings box here, he, he's a great character, he, he boxes really, really exciting to, to the Northwest. How are you both, or both going to be under pressure, 2,000 plus fans in here, how are you going to cope with it? Jack, how is that going to be First. Okay, well, fine, absolutely fine. You know, I've been on the big stage before. Um, you know, I've boxed on the undercards in the likes of Manchester here, on, on you know, Anthony and Joshua on the undercards and Crawler on the cars. And there was not, not that many fans in there when I was on, but you know, it's, it's still the big stage going to the press conferences and stuff like that. And I think I'll cope absolutely fine. All I need to worry about is getting in there, doing a number on him, and getting that world title fight. That's all I've stuck in my head, been in my head since I started boxing for you know, 17 years. So I'm, I'm ready for this. Everybody on the top table, and of course, everybody on this table is available for one on one interviews. Um, not me, obviously, but everybody else. So, if uh, I'd like to just put in your request, but before we do that, of course, we'll be head to head. So, we'll just clear out a few. So, the, the main guys, obviously, Michelle, Mark, Bilal, and Jack. Thank you very much.